Today, I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step process to get nutrition clients on social media. Anyone can do this, especially when you create social media content for the people that need to see it. This comes down to learning what type of results that these clients want, getting specific around who this person is, their challenges, their beliefs, their demographics, and replicating what is working well for other coaches. When you do this, you can start to make social media posts for potential clients. They're going to start thinking to themselves, are you in my head right now? Remember, this isn't for you you or for other coaches. It's for the people that will pay you. And this may mean presenting things a little differently. And I'm not just going to teach you this process today. I'm going to show you how I do it with actual nutrition coaches by going over three examples from aspiring nutrition coaches just like you and digging into their situation and talking about how they should approach this and what kind of social media content they should create. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to post to land clients. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is draw on your own personal experience. What have you achieved in the past, what problems have you overcome, what things have you solved, and what are you best equipped to help others do? Even if there aren't paying clients, there's someone in your life that is like this, I know it. So when I was working with this coach, the first question that I asked them was this, based on your own personal experience with nutrition, what's the one big problem that you've been able to solve? And this is what he responded with, losing weight and keeping it off without having a too restrictive diet and being able to enjoy good food. So right off the bat, I'm thinking this coach is probably good at helping others lose weight. He's done it himself and he's probably helped others do it too. And so many people still think that they need to cut out everything that they love in order for fat loss to occur and this just isn't true. So you can post about eating your favorite food and losing a bunch of weight and highlighting what is possible for people. There's like so much room for that. Next I wanted to know though, if he's helped anyone else with this and who were they? Like what was the situation? So I asked, think of one type of person you've been able to help. Uh, your favorite client to work with, someone that you know trusts you, someone that's always listened to you. What were they trying to accomplish? What was the situation that made you feel so passionate? He said, I would say men that are looking to lose some weight and overall just improve their fitness, but are very busy with their careers and kids. Okay, so this is good. This is already getting more specific around who this person is, which is the best thing you can do. The more specific you can get with this stuff, the more targeted it is around the stories and the pain points and that type of stuff, the more likely it is to land. So we have men with kids. Fathers are great because Although weight loss is what they're after, it's about more than that. They wanna be a good example for their kids. They wanna be a role model. It's all about their legacy and what legacy uh, they're gonna leave behind for their kids. This is powerful stuff. When you start talking about that stuff, it's going to resonate with the right people, with the right men that are following you. And the other thing that's really helpful about being specific, about having a niche, is that you always have that other thing that isn't nutrition and fitness related to talk about. You can just talk about your kids. You can talk about dad humor. You can talk about you're the only person that takes the garbage out. One last question that I typically ask is this. In an ideal world, we're not considering someone's finances or what they're able to afford or even if you're able to get them success. We're not considering that stuff. But in an ideal world, what type of person would you help? What are they struggling with? And what do they want to achieve? See, you need to want to help these people. And that fire, that drive, that passion, that's going to help you put out content that's going to attract the right people. And it's gonna help you show up for them more consistently, more regularly, and you're gonna show that you're the right person to help them. So when I ask this question, I get good answers. Like, check this out. So here's what this coach said, for example. This is a guy that has fallen behind in his fitness due to being busy with work and family. Uh, this person enjoys cooking and good food, but would still like to lose some weight and lose the dad bod look. Okay, this is amazing. A few things to point out here. When we create content, we always want to, again, try to make it for them, which means using words and phrases that they understand. So if they understand, you know, the dad bod look, then you definitely use it. You want to dig into that. Now, this isn't the same coach, but my client Ryan has really dug into this concept with his coaching and his social media content and it's completely exploded, getting a bunch of viral reels and growing his following. And he's all using words and phrases that his ideal client understands. Check this out. You cannot be ripped and jacked if you under eat protein. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I get 185 grams of protein with very little effort on a hectic day. Let's imagine I did zero planning the night before and I flew out the door. Here's what I would do. Start things off with a couple egg McMuffins at McDonald's with a small black coffee. Combine that with one scoop of whey protein. Meal one, done. Oh my God, how could you promote eating McDonald's as a nutrition coach? McDonald's is not gonna kill you. Living life as a fat 
will kill you. And that's precisely what I'm here to help you with. Next, I would take five minutes to go into a grocery store and I would pick up a tub of Greek yogurt. This one's vanilla. Yes, it has sugar in it. Sugar is also not going to kill you. With that, I'm gonna grab a bag of baby carrots and a bag of snap peas. These are what you're gonna munch on throughout the day. Now, if you're like most people, you have a little bit more time towards the evening to come home and prepare some food. You could do something simple like this. Chicken, rice, with some low-fat cheese, and a little drizzle of dressing. That's 185 grams of protein right there. Stop listening to these fear-mongering heads online who tell you to be scared of everything like sugar, seed oils, wheat, vegetables, meat. The main thing that you need to worry about is finding a way to eat such that you maintain a healthy body composition. And getting enough protein is going to help with that. Okay, amazing. He's using words and phrases they understand like fat and gut, but he's also being practical and funny. And this lands with the crowd that he's trying to attract. It works really well. Now that's just one example. How else do you put this all together and start to make social media content around it? Here's some other examples, things that I would definitely create content on based on these conversations with this coach and some of the other stuff that I'm seeing that would work well. Here's three strategies to lose that beer belly and ditch the dad bod. You can post your before and after transformation photos and talking about all the things that you didn't need to cut out. Again, people don't understand that you don't need to do this stuff. So you want to clue into that. Uh, you also want to do things like create infographics, showing them, you know, the five best alcoholic drinks to include and still lose weight, or even three quick and easy meals that everyone in their family will love. That's the content you should create. And that's how you're going to start attracting these clients. Now, if you're thinking that all sounds great, but I still need help with this, my nutrition coaching certification program, the Dr. Mark method is the only program that teaches you the science of nutrition, but also how to land paying clients. It's a huge problem in this space. And you're going to, through this step-by-step -step process, land paying clients, five paying clients to be exact. And that's a guarantee. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go to the first link in the description and check out some more details about the program. But now back to the video. Okay, let's get back to another example. Remember, these are real nutrition coaches here, just like you. They're starting their businesses and they're looking to grow. When I asked this coach, what was the one big problem you've been able to solve? This coach said weight loss and weight maintenance, which is great. Weight loss, you know, there's, we're talking about weight loss again, and there's more of it. That's perfectly okay. This is like a really common goal, but it's a common goal for a reason. And there is room for everyone here. There's a reason why the weight loss industry is so huge. It's because people actually want it. And remember, weight loss opens doors. People will come to you looking to lose weight, but it becomes so much more than that once their lives change and they want to focus on other things and they have all this new confidence. Weight loss just opens the door. And if you don't talk about what they want from the beginning, there's a good chance you'll never be able to help them. But with that being said, it still helps to be a little bit more specific. So what else can we narrow down? I pushed this coach a little bit more on the type of person, the specific person that she would like to help. And I asked her this question, what are they struggling with and what do they want to achieve? And here's what she said. She said, a woman struggling with weight loss stuck in a cycle of toxic yo-yo dieting. They wanna lose weight and they want to keep it off. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now this is a good answer because a few things stand out. The first one being, She's talking about women being in stuck in a constant cycle of yo-yo dieting, which means they've tried other diets, which is great because what were those other diets? What did they like and what did they hate? We want to get a little bit closer to this and what they've tried in the past because we can start to poke fun at the things that they didn't like. We can throw rocks at that because that is going to, you know, create empathy. It's going to get them to understand, you know, we know where they're coming from and that type of thing. But the things that they like, we can also get them nodding their heads um, about the stuff that they didn't mind and they probably would try again. So those are the things that we want to explore here. I have a few clients that work with a female clientele around 45 to 50. Many of them have tried Weight Watchers before. Some coaches would be like, ah, oh, you tried Weight Watchers? Like, why would you do that? That's so you know silly, it's never gonna work, that type of thing. But they actually really like Weight Watchers, or at least it worked to some success in the past. We don't wanna just like put that down or downplay it or dismiss it. If anything, we wanna talk about it in a positive light. We get them on our side by talking about it this way and creating videos just like this. And feel free to pause this and use the exact words because I think it's really, really powerful. I'd say something like this. Many of my clients have tried Weight Watchers and many of them had a lot of success with it, losing 20 pounds, 
and keeping it off for the most part. And generally, it's a pretty good approach and it works for many because you don't have to cut anything out and you're just being mindful of points. And this is usually when they're like nodding their heads because they're like, yeah, you know what? I did like that. That was a good aspect of it. But then you start to shift beliefs a little bit once you get them nodding their head. But the one thing is lacking and the thing that you typically overlook is that you have a hard time um, maintaining that weight loss because you didn't focus on your macronutrients. There wasn't enough protein around. It was just calorie portion control. And when you don't eat enough protein, you don't stay full and you get hungrier, that type of thing. That's why my approach is different. And to be honest, a little bit better. We can't get to that place unless we're getting them nodding their heads first. So it's important for us to do that. And at this point, now you're shifting beliefs and you're starting to get these potential clients to see you as the ally, start to see you as the solution that's going to help them with this next step. Now, the next thing we want to do is get a better sense of ideally how much weight would these women want to lose? What is the number? Can you pinpoint it? It's probably more common than you think. Is it 20 pounds? Is it 30 pounds? What is the number? Put a number in your content, a specific number, because it'll get people thinking. Is this for them? Is this something that they want to achieve? Now, one thing that this coach didn't have an answer for was, is there anyone in this space doing similar things? Which I'm going to touch on in my next example. See, a lot of coaches in this space, they see people doing similar things and they think, I can't do that. I'm just going to be copying them. I'm going to do the same thing. I need to make my stuff way different, which is uh, the complete wrong answer and approach. If you focus on doing something entirely different or just making your own, you're probably gonna do things that clients don't actually want, which is gonna send you on a wild goose chase, chasing a golden goose that doesn't exist. Check out coaches that are doing similar things, watch their stuff, assess it, see what's getting the most views, see what's getting the most engagement, and start to replicate it and make it your own. That's what's gonna help you get results. Okay, let's move on to the next example. When I asked this coach, what is the one thing that they've been able to solve? They said this, they said, I achieved my own weight loss goal a few years back when I cut down to 7.6% body fat. I always wanted abs and confidence and I was able to achieve that. Okay, I love that. The result is really clear around what this client was able to, or this coach, I should say, was able to achieve uh, and what it gave them. So you could talk about what life looked like before and what look, life looked like after achieving that result. And when you talk about that stuff, people will want to know how you did it, which is when you can elaborate. And this coach said this, I saw my relationship with food and learned that there's no good or bad food but I also learned the value of flexible dieting and hitting your calories. Perfect, there's the difference maker. When you talk about how you felt stuck and you never thought things would change, you never thought you would be able to achieve something, and then you found this one thing, you start to shift beliefs. People start to see what's possible for them as well. This coach elaborated on what he specifically did, and this social media content is like literally writing itself. This is what he said. These are the five steps I'm confident will transform your life. Number one, tracking your food. Number two, staying consistent with exercise. Number three, getting seven to hours of sleep per night. Number four, staying hydrated. Number five, reducing stress. Beautiful. You turn that into a video, people will take notes. And remember, you can't give too much of this stuff away. It's literally not possible because people are still going to pay you to help them apply it. I had one wrap up question for this coach and it was this, based on everything that we've discussed, did you notice any themes about who this person is? List their characteristics and what they want. And here's what he said. He said, number one, they've tried all the fad diets. Number two, they're stagnant with where they're at, which is a really powerful emotion. If you're feeling stuck, you want to talk about it. You want to talk about feeling powerless. You want to talk about those exact emotions of what that feels like. Number three, they have an unhealthy relationship with food. Number four, they're just not feeling their best. They know that there's something off. Number five, they're exercising, but not seeing results. And number six, they're overwhelmed with too much information. And the last thing is that they want to lose 15 plus pounds. This exercise is so powerful because we can create a carousel post, you know, swiping through, going through this stuff. Does this sound familiar? And when you can detail all the pain points, people are gonna read this stuff and they're gonna follow along. Remember when you can clearly articulate someone's pain, especially how they're feeling stuck, they're gonna assume that you have the solution. So you need to talk about it. Based on everything this coach had discussed, it reminded me a lot of a very popular nutrition coach that I follow on Instagram. I wanted to highlight this account and this coach because when something is similar and it's clearly working really well, you should study it and you should emulate it. 
This coach and this account is Carter Good. Check out his profile right here. One of the things I like the most about Carter's approach and his page is the following. Number one, he showcases results, results, results. The people that follow him know exactly what's in it for them. But he's also seamlessly weaved his own story and experience into his page and into his business but he also has made it really clear that you can hire him. He makes it super obvious in a straightforward way. For all those reasons, this coach should check out that account and start to study what he does and emulate the things that are working really well. It's full of great, clean looking posts that he should work into the rotation. And that's it folks. I hope you have a clear idea of what type of questions to ask yourself and what type of content you need to create to land clients. Now, as great as all those tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the questions that I asked today so you can start to answer them and start to grow your nutrition coaching business.